Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today, in honor of the Greek Festival coming up next weekend, I'm cooking up some baklava, and it is going to be delicious. I was a little intimidated by this dish at first, but I made a batch up, and it turned out great, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little bit of lemon juice, some honey. Honey's always slow coming out of there. It's actually good local honey. It's actually my honey. Got it out of the backyard. And two tablespoons of cinnamon. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. And then to this mixture, we're gonna add some pistachios and some walnuts that I've ground up with a little bit of breadcrumbs in them. And that's gonna make our little paste to put inside the pastries. All right, now you can see our honey and cinnamon and lemon juice have really started blending well together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our, our nuts to this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two cups of this mixture. And I'm just gonna fold this in and make a nice little paste out of it. Once you get this mixed up, we're gonna take it and set it aside and let it cool. You don't wanna add it on top of your pastry um, when it's hot, it'll kinda of melt things out. All right, now that our paste is cooked down a little bit, we're gonna start laying our phyllo dough. Now this I picked up over in Food Lion in the freezer section, and you really gotta be careful with it. Very gentle. I'm just gonna lay our first sheet down. Now this is a nine by 13 inch pan. And then we're gonna brush it. With butter. All right, now that's our first layer. And we're gonna do this again five more times. We're gonna put five pieces on here. If you want to try to keep it from drying out, you could use a towel on top of it. You just kind of have to act, work a little fast. You don't want it to get too dry. It'll crumble on you. Start tearing. All right, now we're going to add our paste to this. Spread this out. You want to try to get it as thin as you can without tearing anything. Now once we get this on here, we're going to repeat this two more times and then put five more sheets of phyllo dough on top of it and then we'll be ready to go. All right, it's time for our second layer. I'm gonna put five more sheets on here and then another layer of our paste. And then one more layer on top of that. All right, just finishing up, putting our butter on our top part here. And now we're gonna take it and we're gonna score it with our knife. This will make it a lot easier for you to cut later. You just wanna cut down past that first layer. You don't wanna go all the way to the bottom just yet. And you can cut it in squares. Or you can cut the squares into diamonds, little patterns, however you wanna do it. I'm just gonna cut it down into squares. 
All right, now we're gonna place this in the oven at 350 degrees, probably for 45 minutes to an hour, but you wanna keep your eye on it. You don't want your top to get too, too browned. If after 30 minutes it's starting to look like it's getting a little brown, you might wanna put a piece of aluminum foil over the top of it. Now while that's in the oven, we're gonna cook up a simple syrup to pour over the top of it when it's finished. It's gonna be a cup of sugar, three-fourths a cup of water, a cup of honey, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of, of ground cinnamon. Our syrup is looking really good. We'll let that set there. Now we're gonna use a cup of that when we're finished and we're gonna pour it over the top of it. You're gonna to wanna to let your baklava sit overnight, let it soak up all that syrup that you put on top of it. And this is what we're gonna end up with. You can see it's a great looking little pastry. See all the ingredients on the inside and how flaky that is. And that good crunch. It's so rich. All that butter, mm. and that cinnamon flavor is absolutely delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe, and I hope you give it a try. Maybe we'll see you out at the Greek Festival. Bye now.